What is it folks? So we have finally, after about a two and a half hour, three hour car ride, made it down to Ankala, Uluwatu. This is the hotel we're staying at. So you can see, nice little pool, beautiful flowers. And uh, yeah, staying over right here in this location. Uh, it's not the biggest hotel, only about, I think, eight rooms. Um, but it's relatively close to all the stuff. If you come over here, you, you can kind of get a view of the ocean. Um, and this region of Bali is actually known for its cliffs. So all along the ocean, there's this big drop off. And you can't quite see it from here. But uh, we're going to go down a little bit. See if we can see some of that this evening. And obviously for the next few days. Um, I'm going to be in Bali for about another... 12 days so the next couple days we'll be exploring this region we have just made it to our location of where we're going to be staying and so we're uh, kind of setting up getting the bikes rented and then uh we'll get into some exploring in just a minute let's go check out the room all right nice little setup we got this weird plexiglass on the windows i don't really totally understand this nita's breaking it down because nita is so excited that she has her own desk <laughs> but um yeah uh for those who don't know nita is a big xl junkie so <laughs> this whole setup is gonna be great for her um not the biggest room bed right here little tv storage sink bathroom full wet bathroom and yeah not really much to write home about, but just nice, simple, clean, and does the job. The accommodation is nice, it's a fair price, so we're just going to finish unpacking, and then uh, we'll see what's around town. Alright, what's up y'all? So after a nice little scooter ride, about 20 minutes from our place, coming to uh, Dreamland, I uh, wanted to scout it out, see how it is for the surf. Um, as you can see, they got tons of tables and chairs to lounge out lay out on the beach. It's a restaurant and such. But yeah, I just wanted to scout this out because I was told this might be a good location for me to attempt surfing. This is pretty nice. A thief in the night. Almost stealing the wrong scooter. Same, same, but different. <laughs> I'm missing the two. Alrighty. Sorry. Okay. So after wrapping up my time at the beach, I ended up heading over to Uluwatu Temple. I did take a tour, but it wasn't the best. But I did meet um, a really cool friend uh, taking photography on that same tour. And we got to spend some time exploring the Uluwatu Temple and the monkeys. Uluwatu Temple may be best known for its gutcha, or fire dance, also known as the Ramya Nada monkey chant. This is a dance performed by 150 men, um, and it was a dance that was created and somewhat resurrected in the 1930s. It was created by a German man and a local Balinese man who were trying to combine some of the dances and chants from some of the Hindu culture in Bali, as well as can, trying to find a way to combine them so that outsiders and tourists could have an uh, ability to experience some of the ceremony. This was a bit touristy, but a great way to kind of understand some of the tradition from Bali and a really cool dance to witness.
what it is with it, you guys. So I am here, uh, just had lunch at Single Fin and I'm heading down to Uluwatu Beach. Having a very late day. I ended up just spending the whole morning editing videos. We're heading down. So I am currently heading down to Uluwatu Beach. Um, but there's a bunch of these like restaurants all along the mountainside here. And you kind of meander your way through these alleyways. So it's a really interesting kind of set up to be the Uluwatu Beach, or the representing beach of this part of the island. But as you can see, you got a beautiful reef down here. Um, much earlier, there was tons of people surfing, but I'm gonna go down here and just kind of jump into the water, um, just get a bit of a swim in. I chose to have a down day kind of because my plans overall have changed. Um, so me and Anita have wrapped up our time traveling together and so I was like trying to figure out my next steps um, and I'm actually going to head out to Nusa Lebongen to go do some scuba diving but I also had to kind of book the ferry and do some other things. Or the new kind of Airbnb um, villa I'm staying at is so nice and just kind of the perfect setup for our, all my tech gear and stuff so I figured I'd take advantage and actually have a down day. Oh, as you can see, it gets uh, real sandy down here to get closer to the ocean. Whoa, and it kind of opens up into this sick cave. So this is here at the bottom of the staircase. With this really cool kind of like cave area. It seems the tide does come up here, but at low tide they kind of open up shop and sell bin tangs and stuff. But let's see what we're working with down here at the beach. It really isn't much of a beach um, for the official Uluwatu beach, but it does have a bit of sand in the cave section. Um, kind of back here, you kind of maybe saw me walking through that on the way down here. Uh, but right now I'm kind of walking on the tidal flats, doing a bit of exploring. As you can see, this is this huge expanse. It was all out the ocean. This is the surf spot and the reef break. Let's see if we can go see this. I found a crab over here. There's some fish. I don't know if you'll pick them up on camera. The water is crystal clear here. And then obviously there's some more beach um, along this side here. Um, I was having lunch up there. I don't know if you can see the crack. I'll try to zoom in, but that's single fin. Walking through these tidal pools is some of my favorite things to do. Love just kind of exploring, uh, seeing what critters you got going on here. But yeah, so the plan right now, I'm gonna explore a little bit, um, getting ready for my dive course. So I just wanted to kind of have a down day, get my things in order. Uh, let's keep exploring, let's see what we can find and mosey along to the next beach. We are at our next location. This is Yang Yang Beach, I believe is how it's pronounced. It's a cool little beach. Might be a little hard to see with the lighting right now. We have the sun kind of starting to set, but some more rock pools and tidal pools. It kind of gives a great demonstration of how much this beach in Uluwatu is reef. Um, as you can see, this whole area is usually submerged at high tide. Um, the sand here at Yang Yang is really nice. It's pretty deep actually, um, and relatively clean and well kept. Um, I will say, coming down here um, I was originally gonna park my bike at the top of the hill uh, there is a gate you can actually go past that and park your scooter down close to the bottom if you're at a car if you're in a car or a gojack they may not take you down so that is one time that it's like really advantageous to have your own a motorcycle or scooter it is very steep to head back so if you are maybe inexperienced on the scooters consider that because you're gonna definitely have to be pushing it um, if you're two very large adults on like a 125, you may have to have one person walk um, or really, you know, push that bike to its limits. So just a little information there for y'all. But uh, 
maybe get into this tidal pool and see what we can find. Alrighty folks, so I didn't end up making it to the last beach. Uh, that was gonna be Penang Penang. I'm either gonna have to visit that later on the trip or you know just skip that. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm gonna head home, maybe jump in the pool, get a shower, and then get into something to eat.